Okay, so this is the big one. This one I will absolutely not forget because it was very one of a kind. Again, I'm very much so connected to the spirit world. And years ago, I was dating somebody and they had said, oh, hey, I got a new house. Do you want to come check it out? And I was like, yeah. He's like, yo, I bought a condo. So it's cool. It's big. It's nice. And I was like, yeah, let's go. Let me go check it out. So I'll never forget. I walked in and it was very heavy, like lots of energy in there. Not one, multiple spirits. I was like, oh, yikes. Like just from the front door. But it's not, this is not a very common, nice thing to tell people like, hey, there's ghosts everywhere and I see them. That's just weird. So I don't really tell people. I just deal with it. Or if they understand like you guys, I would tell you guys. But most people, I just keep it to myself. So we walked in his room and he was on the bed like this. And then right across the room is his desk. So the desk, he was at his desk on the computer. And I started hearing a noise in the living room. And I knew it was just us home. But I would hear like something against the wall or like something on the coffee table, like a knock. And I was like, hmm. Nope, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to keep it to myself. And more and more, I would hear it. And I was like, nope, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to be single. And they're going to think I'm crazy. And eventually, it started getting heavier, like they were in the room. And I was like, oh, gosh. And there was this dried up rose, like a hanging upside down rose on the wall. And I'll never forget, it was like a dried rose like this on the wall. And it went like somebody like moved it. And I literally went, oh, no, oh, no. But his back was to me because I was sitting on the bed and he was on the computer on the desk. And he's like, hey, are you okay? And I was like, mm-hmm, I'm good, yes. Yeah. So this is a beautiful house. I'm so proud of you. Good job, da 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 And I was like, fuck, well, I don't know what's happening. And I was like, started feeling more. And I knew, okay, this is a guy. For sure it's a guy. And he wants to be like, hey, I'm here. I want you to know I'm here. And I'm like, okay. Hear the noise again in the living room. And I was like, okay. And very distinctly, I remember, I looked in the hall, and there was a girl staring right at me. Like, pretty, I would say, one of the most solid apparitions I've ever seen in my life. Usually I'll see a grayed out version, or like, a shadow or something. She was like, 90% solid, which is very odd for me. So I was like, what the fuck? And she just kind of looked, and she walked on. And I was like, oh, man. And now I'm visually, like, visibly freaking out. And he's like, are you okay? And I was like, look, I just got to be honest. Is your house haunted? And he's like, what do you mean? Like, why? And I was like, is it haunted or not? And he said, like, yeah, sometimes things happen, but are you okay? Like, did you see something? And I said, there's a guy that very much so wants me to know he's here. And he keeps playing with that rose right there. And he kind of looked and he was like, are you serious? Like, you, how do you know it's a guy? And I was like, I just feel it. He's a younger guy early 20s maybe but he keeps on walking around the room like in between us and around us and he's here and he's that flower is actually from my ex but he passed away and i was like oh Ooh. um so uh, fuck off off my short, i have a friend the, the guy that i was dating he was um recovering addict so a lot of his friends were have passed away from overdosing so he was like yeah he passed away and i was like oh i'm so sorry he's it's okay you didn't know and I was like, if it's comforting, I'll let you know that he's here. Like, he's always here. This is a very common thing for him. It wasn't like, oh, he just coming to visit. This is like a thing. He's always around you. And he's like, wow, he's like, that's actually comforting. Thank you so much. And I was like, and I'm going to be very honest. I am very scared a little bit. <laughs> and he's like, why? And I said, because there's a girl that's like in your hallway. And she like was almost this solid. Like, I could feel like I can touch her. He was like a girl and I was like yeah she's younger too she's white she's got dark brown hair she was wearing this kind of white outfit I don't really know I was like but she was right there I literally could see her and he got a little sad and he was like how tall what do you what did you think she could look like and I was describing her and he said I think that's my friend and I was like okay and he said she actually she passed away she she committed suicide and when I was like oh and he's like and I'm actually one of the people who found her and I was like oh, oh. and he's like, so uh, and he got really sad and I was like I'm sorry I don't mean to bring it up he's like no it's okay he's like, but that's interesting that you say she's here and I was like yes she's very strongly here he's like both of those two people were very protective of me so it makes sense that I'm starting to date you and they're here he's like it's comforting in a way but it's funny and I was just like that's so odd and I said I'm sorry to be scared of your friend especially being such, such a good friend of yours I said but I've never seen somebody so solid in my life. So he's just like, wow, that's really cool. So I said, hey, 
what's her name? And he told me her name. And I said, hey, if you don't mind, I'm, I apologize that I'm scared. I just wasn't ready for all this. I said, if there's a way you can let me know that it's you with all these noises, I think those noises are you. I said, if that's a way you can let me know it's you, that'd be great. So then I can't be scared anymore. Now I know it's your friend. And he was just like, you think that'll work? And I was like, yeah, seeing how she is, she seems to be pretty strong. So I literally felt a finger go like on my neck and I went, whoa. I was like, something just touched me. And he's like, did, you, did something just touch you? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, if that's your sign, that's fine. But let me know that's your sign. Same time, both him and I got a touch and we both went. And I looked and he goes, I felt like a finger on my neck. And I said, okay, that's your sign. That's your girl. So I was like, okay, cool. That was odd. Very rarely has that ever happened to me, but I'm like, okay, that's your sign. Got it. I appreciate you. Respect you. Okay. So every time I would go visit, she would be there and she would deep. And I would just be like, oh God, so crazy. Same time we'd be watching a movie, both of us, I'd have him around my arm and we'd be like, and he'd be like, something just touched me. Me too. I'm like, crazy this is i've never had this much like connection with something before he had let me know that everything went down i started connecting a little too much and i said it's so crazy that i could communicate what the fuck? i was tripping out so the more and more i would be connected i can almost visualize certain things or feel certain things so there was one day that i was really like watching a movie but i wasn't really watching i was just staring and i was really thinking in my head like man this girl's crazy she's around me this is so weird and i started feeling like pain like a little bit of pain and very dull and then instead of getting slightly worse around my neck and I started getting like a kind of tightness and I was like that's weird that's I'm like it's I slept wrong but I didn't happen overnight like it just started happening so I was like that was weird and unfortunately that's when I told him and he was just like, hey getting a little scary now this is how everything went down and I was like what he, oh, and he's just, yeah. And then he started crying a little bit and I was like, oh no. Let, I stopped doing all that as far as letting him know and like trying to connect or trying to understand. Cause there's a certain level that you just have to just respect it and then leave it and be like, okay, I get it. You're there, blank. But I got a little too in depth. And I would say that's probably one of my most, if not the most intense, like spiritual connection slash stories that I've ever had or experienced in my life but I will definitely never forget that it's, it was scary but interesting and comforting like we always wonder like what happens to our loved ones are they around us do they take care of us do they visit things like that and I did like I said I wasn't really scared I was more so scared that I have never experienced something so strong before so I think it was one for the books